morning, everyone. Today is Monday. It's my day off alone while Nick's at work. And you're gonna spend the day with me this week since we didn't film anything yesterday. We went out on a friend's boat and snorkeled. We did get a little bit of that footage, but we've showed you that several times. So today you get to hang out with me, see what I do on Mondays. It's not glamorous. I do all the chores, take care of cleaning up the camper because it gets trashed every week. So laundry everywhere, dishes everywhere. We're gonna handle that today. I've already packed up all the laundry. I'm gonna load that into my bike cart, take it down to the laundromat a little bit later, and I've shown you that, so we won't take you along for that one again. But uh, we got all the dishes to do, and I think we're out of water, so we're gonna do them up at our friend's kitchen. He's got an outdoor kitchen. Um, we'll wash all those up there. He has limited water, so we still keep the same water conserving techniques that we use within the camper. Um, he just collects rain water and it's filtered and that's how he gets his water. What else are we gonna do today? We're gonna do a little vacuuming, a little tidying up, taking out the recycling. We've got our, uh, let me show you this. Currently charging our bug zapper. Let me show you what it looks like. We've got this little electric rechargeable Skeeter Hawk. That is a UV light and a lamp. And we plug that in every night above our door, away from our bed. So the mosquitoes and the seams will be drawn to the other end of the camper. And for some reason, the bugs like to, mostly the no seams, like to die on the roof above that zapper. So we get a pretty nasty bug collection up there I'm gonna clean off today. Not sure why that happens. We get the larger bugs fly into the zapper and stick to that, the moths and the mosquitoes. But the noceums kind of die above. Let me show you what that looks like. You get a nasty collection of bugs stuck up there. That I'm gonna be cleaning off today. I'm also going to be cleaning our bathroom drain. I uh, snake it, I guess. We get a nasty growing bacterial bloom in there that kind of clogs the sink and I like to yank that out. It smells terrible and it's growing hair alien down in there. I don't like to put chemicals down there since our drains are plastic and it ruins the, the, the seals if you put bleach and stuff down there, so we don't like to do that. So I'm gonna pull all that, yank all that nastiness out of there and then give it a good flush. Welcome to Tour Day. I hope you guys have some fun with me. If you have a will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. Thanks for joining me today. I can always use the company. So let's get to work. It's about 10.30 or 10.45 this morning and it's already 86 degrees here in the camper. It's probably only like 82 outside, but our camper likes to retain heat. It's four seasons, so it traps the heat in rather than letting the cool stay in. I might run the AC a little later, but for now we're just gonna use some fans while we try to get some work done and uh, leave the back door open. And there is our bathroom sink. It gets pretty yucky. We don't use it for anything but hand washing and toothbrushing, but I think a lot of the spit and hair creates a living organism down in there. That's pretty gross. So we don't have a sink snake, but what I'm using today are some tweezers. Because our blob kind of just lives near the surface of the sink, so usually I can just yank it out. A lot less hair in there this time. Just little bits of hair, if you can see that. Mostly beard hair. He's got a lot going on on his face. He obviously doesn't shave in here, so it's just stuff that falls out while he's grooming. I'm sure there's some of mine and Trixie's hair in here. See, it's just covered in toothpaste spit. You guys see that? It's pretty gross. It gets really stinky. But we'll notice the sink doesn't drain as well, and. The reason we don't use a hair trap in the bathroom is because the toothpaste that we spit in here doesn't go through it and it clogs up. Then we have to end up rinsing that outside because we rinse it in another sink, it just clogs the other drain. Everybody's got their own thing. This is just how we do it. That's most of it. That's actually not too bad. Normally it's a lot worse. Put that away. I hope you miss a good thing. It's down. I don't have a lot of pet. There went my water. All out of water. And then I'll just give this a good clean. I like to use um, 
vinegar and a toothbrush and just clean that all out real well. An old toothbrush, of course. And then I'll give a good clean around there. And it's nice to have the wet bath because everything's just solid, so we can just rinse it usually when we shower. All right, well, I just realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in for all of that. I uh, didn't have vinegar. I used it all last week when I cleaned the sink, so I used some just Dawn dish soap and a toothbrush. You can see the difference there. It's so much better. It's so much cleaner. There's less gunk down in there. That's one of the worst camper chores, in my opinion, but I'm glad it's done. On to the next chore. So just in the time that it took me to clean the sink, it's already gone up two degrees in the camper. Now 88 degrees. I'm gonna go do the dishes, but the mosquitoes are pretty bad right now in Florida, so I'm dressed with long clothing, and I don't have my own mosquito pants, so I'm wearing Nick's uh, his snazzy outfit here. Let me show you his pants. The snazzy parachute pants that we found some plates. Or a friend gave them to us, I guess. They were great for mosquitoes. So I'm gonna take all the dishes up and we're gonna do those. It's gonna be cooler outside, so that'll be nice because it's pretty warm in here. I don't know if you can tell, I'm already starting to sweat. Our dishes have piled up over the week because we've been low on water. So I'm gonna take all those up to the kitchen and wash those and then give the sink a good scrub because it looks pretty nasty in there as well. Everything is hand washed out here. Just use a dribble from the sink. Rinse off the soap. And one technique we use here to save water is there's a bin catching all the soap water runoff. Kind of pre-soak the dishes below it so you don't have to pre-rinse them. The bin in there catching all the leftover water. Kind of soaks all that grime off ahead of time. All the water is being caught in this bin, so it's pre-soaking all my silverware and the dirtier dishes down here. So it saves on water use. All right, so as you can see using that technique, I only used maybe a little over a half gallon of water. Tub's not even full, and I did all these dishes here, all the silverware. It's a good way to conserve water if you're all on the road or boondocking. All right, so half gallon of water for a week's worth of dishes, not bad. Um, unfortunately, our sink in the camper is too small to use that technique, so we actually use um, Dawn Power Wash or diluted Dawn in a squirt bottle to pre-wash everything. It gives, you know, the extra liquid you need to break down the dirtiness and the grime before you give them a good old rinse so you're not double rinsing them and getting them wet twice and wasting double the amount of water. The reason I'm kind of giving a temperature log is mostly for me, but you guys can see how quickly it heats up here in Florida and in that Lance Four Seasons camper. But uh, the log is mostly because we are going to be painting our roof with some Ceramamax that we got from a friend. His dad actually invented it and it's supposed to help keep your roof cool. Um, we probably won't be getting to that for a few more months, but I can look back on this and uh, kind of check the temperature gauge and see how all that product actually works. And uh, if anybody's interested, we will have that for you at a later date. We'll make a maintenance Monday video about it for you so you can check it out as well. Let's see, it's uh, about 11.20 in the morning, 90 degrees in the camper, 86 outside with a 92 feel. I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit warmer today. I think the high is 87, which will probably feel about 92, 93 still uh, in the afternoon here in Big Pine Key, Florida.
Just that small area and our whole vacuum is filled up with dog hair. We're gonna empty that outside and move on to our next chore. Putting on Nick's snazzy pants again. Even in the middle of the day in the high heat, the mosquitoes are pretty heavy out here. Not as bad as we've seen them yet. They were worse back in December, but it's getting there. We had a little rain earlier this week, and it's uh, definitely caused a increase in mosquitoes. Okay, it's 12.45, 94 degrees inside. I've got both Max fans going and one of the, two of the little marine fans going to circulate air. And I'm just charging the batteries up and then I'm gonna hit the AC for the day cause it's pretty warm in here. I think I'm done inside for now. I'm gonna run down and do the laundry before it gets too hot outside. If you haven't seen how I do that, currently without a motor vehicle. Check out episode, I believe it's 143, it was a few weeks ago, uh, where I show you how I bike all my laundry down to the laundromat, it's about a mile down the road, and do the laundry there and then bike it all back. So I'm gonna go do that, buy a few groceries while I'm down there, and then maybe run the AC while I finish tidying up in here because it's still a little grubby. As always, thanks for hanging out with me again today, guys. Uh, it's been great hanging out with you while I do my chores. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. If you enjoy the content and want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button for us. And uh, we'll see you next Tuesday on another adventure.